Hey, what's up? Welcome to DGen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Fisker Automotive, ticker symbol FSR. And so I've been doing weekly videos on this ticker every Saturday. I am recording this on Saturday, January 27th, following the last trading day of Friday, January 26th, which you can see the candle for that here. And so the last video that I had made uh, was basically at the end of this downtrending channel that you can see shaded there uh, following the trading day of last Friday, January 19th. And so I just wanted to give an update because, uh, you know, this has been a routine ticker on the channel. And so basically in last week's video, uh, I had suggested really based on Max Payne, just looking at the options chain, seeing what's going on there, uh, I thought that there might be an attempt at $1. Uh, and, you know, to be honest, on Monday, I had sold some covered calls uh, with a strike of $1. I was a little nervous that uh, uh, they would be, that the week would be closing above a dollar with this uh, strong green day on the 22nd. However, I will come back to whether or not that was strong in just a second, but I do want to point out that the week did close below $1 at a price of 80.29 cents, uh, being up, let's see, uh, about 7.5% on the day and then uh, in the after hours going up about another percent. So a pretty good way to end the week. Uh, but I do want to just go over these candles over the past week as well, well as some levels that do stand out to me uh, moving forward. And so looking at this green candle that was Monday, January 22nd, uh, that actually suggests that there would be a reversal, that there was an attempt above $1. And really, I feel like that was just a way to kind of create bag holders. Uh, because what you see here is that big wick up that is a topping tail that does suggest reversal. While this is not a doji, uh, that is a gravestone doji or gravestone candle pattern uh, that suggests, you know, that sellers are selling above, you know, the let's see, the closing price for that day, uh, which was, let's see, 92.55 cents. So really just getting above a dollar, people are offloading. That's what that pattern means. And then the following day, there was another attempt to get above $1, actually opening above $1, opening at 102 on the day, Tuesday, January 23rd. But we saw a pretty big pullback. It went down, uh, let's see, 3.68% uh, on that day, uh, following the previous day when it went up over 17% on that Monday. And so how you can tell that this was a reversal signal is because there was an open above $1 and then a pullback and actually that close on Tuesday was 89.14 cents and that was lower uh, than the open on Monday. And so this topping tail signal, this reversal signal still in play. In order to negate that, we would need to close above the high on the day, which was $1.11. And so we did not see that. Following uh, Tuesday, we saw a continuation down with a more than 8% move down on Wednesday. And then Thursday, it looks like we started to see a bottom uh, with again, you know, more than 8%, almost 8.5% down on the day. Uh, however, you know, Friday, we did close the week uh, going up on Friday uh, about 7.5%. So that is good. It does suggest that we might be at a bottom. But, you know, the, the real thing that we need to be doing is closing above this high of $1.11. It's quite possible that will happen this coming week. Uh, but uh, some things that do stand out to me as bearish I'll also go over some things that stand out as bullish. Uh, the bearish things is that we did put in a new low on uh, during last week of 72.55 cents on Thursday, January 25th, uh, and then also uh, putting in a new lower close at uh, 74.67 cents marked by this purple line here. And so that is going to be a key level. We do not want to see closes below that level, but if we do, we really don't want to be seeing any closes below 72.55 cents. If we see a tail or a wick of a candle coming down below that level, that's not great. But if we see a close above 72.55 cents, 
that could suggest that we are finding a bottom, that this little tail that we see on that day could be a bottoming signal, uh, especially because we did see this green candle uh, the following day. While that is not um, an, a bullish engulfing candle, it is still green, uh, closing the week green, so I do think that is good. And if I switch over to the weekly chart, uh, so these are weekly candles now, uh, this spinning top uh, might be red for the week, down overall, uh, let's see. Actually, over the course of the week, uh, it did go up 1.74% relative to last week's close. Even though it's a red candle, it did go up over the course of the week relative to last week's close. So that is not actually that bad of a thing. That's actually a good thing. And this spinning top does suggest or could suggest that we are finding a bottom that a reversal could be coming. So, you know, while we did hit a new low during last week, this signal, this spinning top is a reversal signal, especially on the weekly time frame. So I do think that could be good and that we could be seeing another test of $1 in the coming week. And, uh, and to note that as far as uh, $1 in the coming week, if we do look over at the max pain, it is again $1 for the week closing on February 2nd. So if we do see another test of $1 in the coming week, keep an eye out. Uh, do we close above that level? Uh, $1 when we do go above there. If we do, that could suggest that there's a continuation. And on the note of bullish action, I'm actually just going to extend this uh, channel so we do see uh, you know, what we're looking at. Um, on the note of uh, bullishness, uh, I have pointed out that we do see bullish divergence in the RSI. Uh, we see lower lows forming in the stock price and we see higher lows in the RSI. RSI currently still being below 30, suggesting that Fisker is oversold, suggesting that it is a good buying opportunity. Even though it's hitting new lows, even though it's beaten down, the RSI is suggesting a, that it's oversold, and B, that there's bullish divergence, and that bullish divergence has continued uh, into the week. Uh, and so last week, I believe I had uh, the line here going up to around this level. Uh, I didn't want to extend it just because I just felt like we were going to continue to make uh, new lows with the RSI, and so, or not new lows, but uh, not finding a bottom with it. Uh, but on the 19th, on Friday last week, we did in fact find a bottom with it. Uh, and then we've actually, uh, f for this week, hit a higher low again, but kind of adjusting this trend. Uh, but with stock price, uh, we found new lows. So, while this trend has been adjusted, we're still finding higher lows in the RSI while we are finding lower lows in the stock price, and that slope is changing. And so I do think uh, that that could be suggesting that a reversal is in the near future. I do think that we will we'll be attempting $1 again this week. If we do close above it, I do think that will suggest a continuation, whether that is during the coming week or the week after. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, I think that this is really starting to look like bottom signals are coming in. Uh, however, you know, with the lower low this week, there is a little bit of concern that we might not be there just yet. Uh, and so it might be another week of being low, hanging out around this purple line here at 74.67 cents. But I do think that in the very near future, the next couple of weeks, and we will start to see closes above $1. And I think following that, we will start to see uh, the stock price make some attempts at these higher levels, potentially in the month of February, who knows, uh, making an attempt to fill these gaps to the upside above $3, above $4 and maybe hitting the psychological level of $5 a share. So, you know, I think that there's a lot of great potential with the stock, and I do think the bottom is near. But, you know, those are just my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.